We're going to take a look at a simple, easy to set up help desk system for SharePoint. This is a help desk template that you can apply to a simple SharePoint list and it just lets users make help requests and allows you to respond to them in a nice, easy to understand formatted dashboard. And that's all there is to it. So now let's get SharePoint smart. Okay, here's the template. So the preview shows you exactly what you're going to get. You have a grid which is showing you a summary of multiple help requests from various users. And then we've got some color coding for status and we've got five status values. Those could be requested when the uh, request first gets created. And then you have in progress, hold, uh, complete, and canceled. So really easy to understand concepts. Also, we've got an age column that tells us how old is the request. This is nice in case we want to watch out for stalled requests, things that have been in the queue for a long time. And then, of course, once the ticket gets closed, either complete or canceled, we don't want to report the amount of time in terms of its age. We just want to say closed. Then on the right side, you see the uh, request coming from the user, what they've put in for the title column. And that's pretty much it. So the preview shows you what it's going to look like. You can adjust from these different themes or of course you can adjust any of these colors um, as well as the request width, uh, the row height, um, all kinds of different options there. So if you want to tweak the look and feel of this, it's very easy to do that. For our demonstration, I'm just going to go with the regular theme one. Now on the bottom, you want to make sure you read the notes first. We just need a handful of fields. We need a title field and then two multi-line plain text, one called notes, the other called response. And these will hold uh, the description coming from the user of their problem. And then response is for the IT response. If it's uh, something the IT group is helping with, um, it's their response to try to help out with the issues. And then we've got a status field with the choices I just mentioned. And then one additional field, we want to allow the user to attach a screenshot. We're going to use the SharePoint image field for that and just call it screenshot. So just make sure you follow those instructions precisely. So I already have a list here in SharePoint and I've created those fields. So the title field you can just leave as is, just the regular out of the box field. Here's the notes field, that's a multi-line plain text. Be sure to set it as plain text. Unfortunately, our template is not um, able to use the rich text. It breaks our formatting. So make sure you use plain text for notes and response. We already talked about status. There's the image column called screenshot. That's all you need. You do need to show these additional fields for our template, uh, which are baked into the list. So along with the title field, we need to make sure that we show the created field the created by field, and then the ID field, which is the SharePoint ID. So make sure all those are included before you apply your template. Once that's all ready to go, you can just do copy template. And then once you click on that, follow the instructions in the box and click OK. And then you can come over here and go to the view selector, format current view, advanced mode, select all, paste, and save. Okay, so there is our formatted list, and you can see these are all my live tickets. Now, the notes, screen, and response, these have a hover effect. So, of course, the notes could be extensive. You know, the user may provide a very long description of their issue. Same thing with the response. So that's why we have this pop-up window functionality. If there is nothing in the response field, you're just going to see these dashes. And then same thing for the screen. If they attach a screenshot, you're going to see that show up um, on that. Otherwise, you see dashes. So a lot of nice, dynamic capability. Let's go ahead and put in a new request. Um, and let's just say my email is not updating. 
I'm going to show you how easy it is to put in the request. Um, when I open Outlook, my new emails are not loading. Can someone set up a web meeting to help me? Okay, notice the notes field is required along with the title. So we're always going to get that information. And then what we'd like to do is encourage the user to attach a screenshot to help us better understand the issue. So there's a screen. I'm just going to select that from my desktop. And then development can provide a response later. So by default, you see I have my status field set to requested. So make sure you use that as the default value. And then once I save that, you're going to see it show up on the top of the list. And it's using the SharePoint ID. So we have request 13. Do make sure you sort with um, uh, the newest on top. That's going to make for the most intuitive experience. And then now you can see the notes that I just put in, as well as that screenshot I just loaded. So we've got a really easy to use interface. And then this aging is nice because it's telling me how old is this ticket that I've got. And then also you can see there's an ellipsis effect. If the request has a really long entry, it'll just do a dot, dot, dot. And then of course I can do edit to see that information. So that's it. This is a really fast and easy setup for a help request system. So this is something where instead of just having one single complicated help request system, you could use this for uh, you know, specific tools or in specific sites for uh, maybe a simpler scenario. And then if you want to, of course, you can also add more fields. So this is really just the information we need on the summary view. But if you would like, you can, of course, come in and add things like priority, attachments, additional notes. So you can expand upon this system to have a more um, sophisticated um, help ticket system um, as you see fit. So you can customize it according to your own particular preferences. And that's it. That is the help desk system, which you can set up, as I say, really easy. As you can see in this video, it really just took a couple of minutes and you only have to make a handful of fields for the list. So just follow the instructions in the blue notes section. You'll be good to go. This template is available as part of the subscription at SharePointDashboards.com and this is one of more than 150 different formatting templates that you can use to make your SharePoint site look great. If you have not used SharePoint Dashboards before, there is a free signup available with 21 free templates so you can go in there and get signed up to begin using it just to see how it works. And then you can go on and use this template if you're interested in the subscription, which includes all the templates. I hope you found that useful. Good luck.